In Photoshop, there are many ways to add or remove different elements of a photo, but one way that is easy is the Clone Stamp tool. This is over here in the left-hand sidebar, and it shows you a little demonstration of how to use it when you hover on the tool. What makes this tool confusing is that it's a two-part tool. You first have to click to target the part of your image that you want to copy, and then you can paint with it. If you want to paint the same thing more than once, you need to target it again. If we go ahead and just click with that tool anywhere on our screen, it will pull up this warning that says the clone stamp tool could not be used because it needs to have that defined stamping action first. This always reminds you what you need to do on your own computer. Here on my Mac, it's an option click. I'm going to go ahead and make this tool larger as well so I can get an entire hot air balloon and copy it. Let's go ahead and pick this one. I'm going to go ahead and now do option click and it pulls up these crosshairs which makes me know that it's targeting that part of the image correctly. If I go and put that somewhere else, it will now stamp that tool. If I kept going, it would include what's coming up below as well and you can see that little X mark showing where it's copying from. If I don't like that fuzziness, I can change up here in the settings the hardness to be uh, without so much fuzziness around the edges. I can also change the size if I wanted something else. We could go ahead and take a, a smaller hot air balloon as well, or maybe this whole cluster of hot air balloons. So I can stamp on it here by clicking Option, and now it'll allow me to paint that. There is always a balance between having your stamp match the background by having it not too similar or different and having the fuzziness and finding the right balance between those different factors.